Hi everyone, you're watching 1700. My name's Barbara. I'm sitting here with Ryan and Brad from Poison the Well. Hi Welcome. Barbara. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Australia, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. How's it been so far? Now I understand that you've um, just come off a show from the ESPY last night. How are you guys holding up? Good. Good. A little sore, but it was a really good show. Definitely the best we've had in Australia on this run so far. How many shows has it been in Australia for you to say that? Uh, 35, I think. <laughs> yeah. We've done 35 shows in five we just, days. We just finished our 17 date engagement in Wollongong. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, you're here for the Soundwave Festival. Who are you looking forward to seeing? Uh, actually, uh, I will... Apart from I, yourself. I have, oh, I wouldn't look forward to that. <laughs> but uh, I haven't seen Nine Inch Nails yet, so I'm going to try to squeeze that in. Um, yeah. I haven't actually seen that many bands because I run around all day so much doing stuff. But if you're running around, yeah. theoretically, you should be able to see other bands. Because, you know. Yeah, I mean, I hear other bands. Oh, hey, that's Rob Schools. Oh, hey. He's doing all the behind the scenes work. Ah. Uh, Getting like, everything handled. Like Whatever's pain. in earshot as I'm walking. <laughs> So, um, so what, what can we what can we look forward to uh, when we catch Poison on the Well at Soundwave? Uh, I don't know. Five dudes that really do like what they do and mean it. Not gonna bring out any fancy costumes. No. No insanity on stage. No, no Ozzy Osbourne really. biting the head off a bat. We're pretty much a no frills, like yeah. no BS kind of band. It's all five dudes doing what we love to do and having fun doing it. No, so no, no antics. You're no. like breaking an antic craving fan over here. Yeah, what do you need to have a good show? You just tell us what you need, and we'll see what we can do. I don't know. Something along the lines of insane dancing. Don't bite ahead of a bat, because you know, RSPC. So not violence. You no, no, not nothing violent, but like really, really bad dancing, which makes you somehow accidentally kick over things on stage. And oh, we definitely kick over unplug, things and you know, things come unplug unplugged. Yeah, there's lots of. That Antics happens. like that, I suppose. Face planting off the stage at a major festival, which I have been privy to, and and uh, <laughs> oh, really? when yeah. was this? Uh, tour last Warped year. Tour two years ago. Oh well, yeah, we two, years, two we, years. We were in Ray's last. last summer. He uh, he fell off the front of the stage in the first song. Good look. And then kept playing in the dirt. I was just in the dirt uh, playing guitar. Our friend Steve jumped down to pick me up, or to see what happened, because I just. I had my back turned and I went over with my back turned, so I had no idea what was going to happen. I was just like, ah! And I was apparently in the dirt still playing the song. For some reason, I thought that was a good idea. Guitar way out of tune. That's right. But yeah, if you're looking for antics, something always goes wrong, which is exciting. Yeah, but see, when, when they're unplanned, they're not as funny as the ones that you guys intentionally plan and then <sighs> screw up. I, I don't like those ones. The, like, the, the planned antics seem so fake and like, yeah, no, yeah, but yeah, when yeah, you plan right, them but... and then you screw them up, they become the planned, unplanned antics. That's True. It's quantum physics. Yeah. So, what have you guys been doing um, in Australia apart from Soundwave and playing all the gigs? Done anything interesting? Caught uh, any other gigs? Seen a lot of friends that we don't get, we haven't seen in a while since we've been at home, like recording and writing and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's been really cool. Um, went to the Wildlife Museum. Yeah, went Sydney. to the Wildlife Museum. Yeah. <laughs> Which band member can you live without in case we do need to knock one? Oh, I can't out? answer that. I can't answer that question. Oh, come on. I mean, I know the answer, but I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. That's well, a private answer. That's well, you're not, you're not I'm telling you're not telling answer. me. You're you know, you're telling all our viewers here. Oh, so. like that's better. Come on. Well, yeah. I can't tell anyone. These are secrets that I'll take to the grave. What secrets can you reveal to us? Ooh. Anything that sort of happens on tour that you know, that you sort of want to oh, tell so us about? PG. Oh, now you want PG? <laughs> yeah, right. You're just saying that. <sighs> that's not what I want. It's what our viewers would our, like. Our, our drummer, I think, pees in bottles because he likes it. Just yeah, pee in right. a bottle. We're at a truck stop, he'll just not get out of the van, pee in a bottle, and just be like, I already went pee. <laughs> <laughs> you make him sound like he's five. I already went pee, mommy. <laughs> I did throw two pounds of rancid shrimp into a crowd when Bill yeah. was playing once. In See, Poland. antics. Yeah. I was wearing corpse paint, too. It was. Oh. And how, how did the shrimp go down? People were pissed. They were. Did it they... was like, straight out of the sea, Raw shrimp. Heads on. Yeah. Little tentacles sticking out. I mean, that's straight out of the sea considering Poland's pretty Yeah, pretty well, that was confusing. It was Poland and they had like this giant plate of shrimp and we don't know where it came from. So yeah. did, did anyone walk out or did you sort of no, pop it was the like backlash the next day? It was like a giant black metal festival that somehow we played. And Dillinger played. Yeah. It was weird. 
it all feels like a dream. So after the um, after the Soundwave tour, what have you guys got? Sort of we go to the Europe and UK tour for a while. Then um, playing any festivals up there? We play Gros Rock at the in the middle. Not Gros Rock. Is it yeah, Gros Rock? It's Gros Rock and Gros Rock in the Gruz middle of Rock. April. That's, That's right. about it. Yeah. And then uh, we go home, take a couple weeks off, and then we go on a, a pretty long tour of the U.S. We have a new record coming out in May, so we're going to be touring in the States for that. Mm -hmm. With this giant pumpkin. <laughs> you guys should bring a pumpkin. Bring a pumpkin onto Sandwich. We do. We have all different types. You should bring us There's a pumpkin. Like, I don't want a little one, I want like a giant pumpkin. No, it's... 75 pound no? pumpkin minimum. Yeah, come on, what do you got? I'm a girl, I can't carry anything that heavy. We'll get you a dolly. <laughs> It'll be fun. We'll, we'll get, get you a go kart and a red wagon and trip to yeah. the trip behind the, the trailer. I think what? I had a dream about go karts last night. I always have a dream about go karts. <laughs> well, when you guys come back for the um, for the album tour, be it end of this year or next year, mm -hmm. I'll bring the pumpkin. You bring the equipment. Okay. Sounds good. High five on that. Sweet. Well, we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, no Thank you. Wishing Thank you, you all the best for the rest of the tour. Um, all the best with the antics and everything and the <laughs> album. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time.